Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be teaching you about something to avoid. A lot of the times, a lot of the videos we have are ideas, build designs and whatnot. Today we're going to be talking about something that you should try to avoid at all costs. And this is something that are not, a, not a lot of players actually understand or even know exists into the game. And when you get to the mid slash late game, you're building a lot of Aqua Tutor Steam Turbine combos. This is something that happens that you may not understand exactly what's going on. So to get it started, we could see right here that the temperature of my steam room is around 180 degrees. And at the bottom, we have a window tile at 20 degrees. As you could see, there is a big heat difference between the rooms. Now, one of the things that may happen a lot of the times is when you're building and doing things into the game, you use the bridges. It doesn't matter what kind of bridge, a liquid bridge, gas bridge. If you have the shipping, you have a conveyor bridge. Also, things that fall into that category are your watt plates. The conductive wire bridge, the wire bridge, the heavy watt conductive joint plate. All of these are three tile long buildings right and they all share one feature they're a bridge and all bridges interact as so we're going to show you what happens if you accidentally build something where you have a bridge like this now this bridge setup might be because of how your aqua tuner pipes are set you might have to do something like that so the only thing you're paying attention to is the fact that i'm bridging from this tile to this tile even though there is a insulated wall here that was preventing any heat transfer. We're going to actually look at this now. So immediately on 1x speed, you can see that the glass immediately heats up. This is a weird bug, or I don't know if this is working as intended, but the bridges will transfer heat as the bridge is considered one building. So the heat on this side immediately is the same on this side. So you could easily have heat jabate you and destroy your systems, causing you to not understand why something's not cooling fast enough. Another place I see it happen a lot is if they're making a power joint plate connecting the steam turbine to the aqua tuner at the bottom so that the steam turbine could add a little bit of juice to the AT. And what happens is that the steam room heat is leaking through the joint plate. So you're heating up your turbine and it's not going to work because of that. That's a very common issue. This happens with any of the bridges, the wire bridge, the pipeline bridge. It doesn't matter if it's a bridge. It has the same properties of what's going on here. So if you guys can, make sure you guys avoid this. Uh, having a hot box, a cold box like that and having a bridge go in and out will basically hurt the efficiency and allow a way for the heat to leak out. But of course, guys, try to avoid this if you guys can. And of course, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, y'all know what to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. And hope you guys enjoyed the video.